Kakadosh Bokatov, we're continuing with Alachot of Siman Kuftun Chet, now Sif Yod Aleph in the Shulchan Aruch. We were talking about when do we make the Bracha of Al Netilat Yadayim. So if you remember, we actually brought down Maran says something very interesting. Maran says, Mevarech Kodem Netila. You do the Bracha before the Netila of the Yadayim, which means before washing your hands, you're going to make the Bracha. Shekol Mitzot, Mevarech Alehem, Ovel Asiyatan. Right? Because all the mitzvot, you're going to make the bracha beforehand. However, though, the minhag is not to make the bracha until afterwards, because maybe the hands are not clean. And because of that, you do it after you, uh, you're going to wipe your hands together, after the hands are already clean. Before you're going to put the water onto it the second time around. Which means that according to Maran, if you remember, it's actually brought down how many times do you do Netila Tadaim. You do the Netila the first time just to make sure that your hands are now going to become clean. And then another two times afterwards. So says Maran, technically speaking, if your hands were clean, you would do the Biracha of Al Netila Tadaim even before the washing of the hands. But since we don't know if your hands are clean or not, says Maran, what are you going to do? You're going to first wash your hands once. You do the Biracha of Al Netila Tadaim. And then you do another twice. Now, even though this is the shita of the Maran, right, the, the Ramah actually argues, and the Ramah says, no, you could even make the bracha even before drying of the hands. The minhag of the olam is to do it completely after all three times. That is the minhag of olam. And the reason why is because since the niguv is also part of the netila, so therefore, since the drying is also part of the netila tedaim, so therefore you can wash your hands three times, then you make the bracha of al netila tedaim, and then you're going to come and you're going to try your hands. Nevertheless, says Rav David Yosef, if a person wants to make the bracha before the netila, for example, he already knows that his hands are clean, right? He's allowed to do so, but he should only do it in his house privately. He shouldn't do it in front of other people in order that other people shouldn't start thinking, ah, this is the way that you're supposed to do it, right? Because if not, then it could be that they'll do it even if their hands are dirty and then you have a problem. So therefore, you don't do it in front of other people, but at least that you should know that this is actually shitab maran, that you would do it before. If a person forgot to make al netila tadaim before drying his hands and then he dried his hands, right? And all of a sudden now, he doesn't know what to do. So if you remember, that was the Ramah. The Ramah says, Im levarech, right? Ad achar niguv, mevarech achar kach. Says the Ramah, if a person forgot to dry his hands, the forgot to say the bracha, before drying his hands, he already dried his hands, and now he has to come and make the bracha, no problem, says the Ramah. However, though, here it says, that Rabbi Maposkin, that you're not allowed to make a bracha afterwards, vechem minhag asfaradim. Minhag asfaradim is, once you dried your hands, Kaddish. You cannot come and you cannot make the bracha anymore. Aval netila tedaim. And he says, why? Because we have a klal gadol biyadenu safek berachol laakel sabal. We say that safek berachot, we always go lenient. And in Hagash Kinazim, they go after the Ramah, they are allowed to make the bracha afterwards. Now he says, according to the Minagas Svaradim, that you're not allowed to make the bracha afterwards. It's even if it's going to be toh kededi bur from when you dried your hands. Nevertheless, he says, if you remember that you didn't, right, make the bracha, when you already started, but you didn't finish drying your hands, and you still have on your hands, shiur tofeach al which means you still have liquid on your hands that you could still wet someone else, rashay levarech, you're allowed to make the bracha even according to the minaga sfaradim, and the nachon is that whether it's according to Ashkenazim or sfaradim, if you remember after the niguv that you didn't make al netilat yadayim, you should come and in letzetedech safek, you should touch one of your body parts which are covered, and then afterwards you're going to do again netilat yadayim, and you will make the bracha av al netilat yadayim. However, though, he says, if you remember that you didn't make the bracha of al netilat yadayim after you already made the bracha of amotzi, even according to the Ashkenazim, you will not be able to make any more the bracha av al netilat yadayim. What happens though, the last salacha, if you did netilat yadayim, and then you have a doubt whether you said the bracha or not. So he says, even if you had a, a, a safek before the drying of the hands, you do not make the bracha because again, safek bracha you don't know if you made the bracha or not, so you do not make the bracha.